Hi. Welcome to the Flora Vale Spring 2014 Chicken Coop Tour, also known as the Coop thus far. Let's show you our chicken coop systems and uh, where we're at with things. So this is the coop and this is our main gardens. You can see the coop has been integrated into the gardens. It takes up a um, uh, approximately eight by eight or sixteen by sixteen space, um, taking up the matching garden bed to this one. This bed over here is in full sun, uh, and you can see it's fenced. Uh, that is for deer and groundhog and chickens, and we will be doing the same with the rest of the main gardens here. We've just gotten the bean trellises up, and this garden is for fall, and the potatoes are in. But we're here to talk about chickens. So our coop system is right here next to our home, you can see. Garden shed, and potting bench area, and home. So it's close. Um, this is our rooster, Little John. Perhaps not long for the world and his four adult hens who are on this side. These hens and this rooster are about a year old. Uh, we got them and built the coop system for them. So you have stabilized out of locust logs, barn lumber. Some of the only purchases made were the upper rafters because we wanted new wood for our raftering. And then this half inch grid wire. Grid wire is very important. Um, when asked what chicken predators we have in our region, the answer is all of them. Everybody likes chicken for dinner. So, these four adult hens are two golden lace wine dots, a golden lace wine dot rooster, and two leghorn roosters. This is their run. We have quarter inch grid wire, and then we have this larger four inch by two inch fencing wire. This was already on the property. It was surrounding an old dog run. All of this is uh, set into the ground about 12 inches, 12 to 16 inches, depending on the side, how far I could dig. And then has stone over that. You can see some of that stone as a footer here. And then it has a garden bed because that runs off from the roof. You can also see, like many coop owners, we are still dealing with our roofing system. Roofs are expensive and one of the hardest things to maintain. So we've been exploring ideas and for now we still have a tarp. Here's one of the ideas I explored. Bark shingles, not so effective. So the runoff from the roof runs into the garden bed and then we have a French drain style drainage system. This post hole is draining water out of it before we put a post in it. We grow uh, various plants in here for the birds. Uh, most importantly is for summertime we'll have green beans growing up on it and we feed the birds the green beans and uh, they shade the run. So every door has three points at least of latching. That's for our resident raccoons. If they can work three points of latching system they're welcome to the chicken. We have a bungee cord spring to keep the door closed when we go in and out. We cannot go in as long as this guy's in there. He is an aggressive rooster and will attack us. Biosecurity. This is hand sanitizer in a soup can. Whoops. Hand sanitizer in a soup can with holes punched in the bottom and hung on a hook uh, so it drains. <clears throat> uh, I built everything uh, mostly from scrap lumber that I scrounged out of wood piles. Here's the main coop. I may be zoomed in a little bit. Let's see if I'm zoomed in. Nope. Main coop. Cooping system. Everything is sealed, even the bottom of the coop uh, has 18 inches of grid wire down into the ground and about 8 inches up, and then it's covered with the siding. So, this is our the main purpose of chickens is an egg delivery system. So, we come out here, 
And we only have one point of closure on this. The latch keeps the, roost, the raccoons out. There's our noisy pants, Mr. Rooster, Little John. So I need to put in latches for latching. There's our nest box. Oh, and we have a surprise brown egg. The white one is a plastic egg. It's called a decoy egg. The brown one is a Wyandotte egg. We'd already collected today. This is their nest box. You can see it's on chains and sealed. And then I've used rope caulking instead of rubber caulking because rope caulking, if the chickens get a hold of it, they can swallow some of it, it won't kill them. Uh, tar paper roof on this side, still planning that out. If I built stronger and used common sense, it would be a living roof. Here's our drop door. Now our door actually has a uh, mechanical system in it. Three points of closure again. Bolt, latch, bolt. This hook is for holding the door back on the wire when we're cleaning. Oh, I forgot a chicken in here. Door system, more rope caulking. This is the porthole. Closes, latches shut during inclement weather. This is Sweetie, our dominant hen. Little John doesn't realize she's in here. This is a litter door. Keeps the litter in when it gets real deep. Right now we don't have as much in here. We deep litter. Chicken roosts for chickens. This is the electronic auto door that we actually don't use currently. Lots and lots of ventilation. Windows here, a window back here, and the soffits are also ventilation and they have wire on the outside. Here is our egg box with roosting systems and this upper egg box area will be converted and a door put on it when our new hens are in. Coop decoration so the hens know who's in charge. No weasels allowed. Now all these windows and stuff are closed up during the winter. Oh, and we got our egg license in from the state of Maryland, so I made a copy and hung it up in the coop. So the girls know they're official. Everybody's getting upset. Now, this, like I said, is an auto door. It can function on a timer. It's going to get very loud here. Let everybody calm down. That was a hen getting upset because I had isolated her from the rooster. So we don't use the auto door on the timer right now because, quite frankly, the point of auto door is for free ranging. We will move the auto door when we build a chicken yard next year. So, there's the main coop. And you can see here a terrace that I'm expanding. And we'll go up the side here. Now, one thing that changed for me was when I was building a coop, was I started thinking of it as an aviary. A bird nest, a big bird cage which is indeed what a chicken coop is. So we, I started looking at aviaries. That's why it has play roosts in it and stumps. We bed on leaf matter and straw and we throw in all of our weeds and grass and the birds convert it into deep mulch, which is then put into our compost and aged before we use it. Back here we are fighting some water issues. We live on a mountain and everything runs wet. So we are fighting some water issues in our garden like always. 
Um, so this is a drain line. Now, so here's the birds up on their play roost corner. This provides simulation. This whole his system is both weasel and bear and fox and even partially human proof. Um, and it's designed also to allow us to leave the birds alone for a number of days. Uh, and over here, with Mr. Noisy Pans in it, is our new corner with our pullets in it. I have to bring Mr. Noisy Pants back on this side so that I can shut that door and show you that. Rooster! Hey, little John! Rooster! Here he comes. He wants to fight me. You want to fight me? You want to fight me? This is the rooster wanting to have a fight. So, so they spend a lot of days in their run and coop area He's going to get upset in a minute because I've just shut this other door. Um, because we go out of town and stuff. And because we can't manage them, because we live on a mountain, we can't let them free range in the yard. So we give them a lot of greens and a lot of food. And um, uh, we are working towards the goal of free ranging. Coop edition. This corner was left empty when I built the first coop. You can see the original wall here. And it was done to make what we are now calling the nursery. We got in. Oh, and there's Sweetie again on this side, harassing the littles. There she is. And there's her rooster. She wants to be with her rooster. So this corner was empty. And I put on the addition, built the roof. This little pallet wall, the cardboard is to provide a windbreak. And then here are our littles. And there they are. So these chickens, oh, that's called hen pecking. That would be uh, a one year old root, uh, hen uh, bossing around the 12 week old. See here, you can barely even see the wire between the two areas. We have an access door. The goal is to actually have a human door right here so that we can walk between the two. But right now, it's an access door. And we have six littles. Here they are on their little roost back here. All the walls are done out of pallets. So over here we have a golden lace. Why not? Uh, no, not a golden lace, a uh, buff Orphington, two of those, and four black stars, also known as black sexlings. Um, and they will be laying here in another month. So this whole section can be isolated independently. The goal is to build this out as a full coop style setup with a door over here and a window and roosts in that corner and on this end, egg boxes. So let's let everybody, and the idea was is that we brought our babies out here and they, once they're old enough to come outside and they lived on this side. Until they were old enough So forced to pull this. I'm still guiding it through wire until I can get it tied off. So that allows everyone to mingle, which we are doing now, which is called integration, and allows the big ones to go in there and pick on the little ones. So long term, there will be more ventilation here with an egg door here so that we can open up our egg door and if we need to have a laying hen on this side, we will. Uh, say if a hen is wounded or what we really hope for is that we have a hen who is broody, who is uh, raising babies. Um, and that 
that way we can have more, we can increase our flock size uh, without having to buy chicks. And all we have to do is replace a rooster every two years. So this side is still waiting to be painted. You can see it's patched together out of scrap plywood. And you can also see all my soffits are wired and stapled. Once again, there is grid, there is a quarter inch grid wire all the way into the ground with stone over top of it for predators who dig. And so we have a full system, coop, run, secondary run, secondary coop, taking up a uh, 16 by 16 block of our garden, uh, all designed to be able to uh, run chickens of various ages, and more importantly, all designed as an egg production machine. Uh, insert chicken and feed into one end, receive breakfast and dinner and lunch, and sometimes dessert, because you can do a lot with eggs out of the other. Also, manure is very important. Having the manure in our garden has been fabulous. And that, my friends, is the rise and shine coop for the Floravail fowl here at Floravail Gardens in the beautiful mountains of Mount Savage, Maryland. And uh, we thank you. Not a bad little coop, if I say so myself. If I can get a roof on it, it's going to work really well.